Hey there, design enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to be diving into the world of 3D design by transforming a flat logo like this into a stunning three-dimensional masterpiece like this with Adobe Illustrator. And guess what? We're also not going to be stopping there. Once we crafted our design, we're also going to be showing you how to take it from screen to fabric using a heat press machine. So let's fire up Illustrator and get it started. Hi, guys. My name is John, and I'm your go-to graphic designer here at Transfer Superstars. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can transform this flat logo into a vibrant 3D effect. Let's get started. The first thing I'd like to do is make a copy of the original artwork. Since what we have here is a flat text logo, simply select everything and press Alt or Control C to copy and paste it somewhere else. Alternatively, you can press Alt and drag it out. It doesn't really matter. It's up to your preference, but I really love working in a non-destructive way, just in case we do anything that might harm the artwork we're working on. Having a backup is always pretty great. It comes in handy. So the next thing we'd like to do is make a copy of the artwork we made and maybe try adding some strokes. Maybe instead of a stroke, let's try doing an offset path right here. Also note that mine says inches, but on your end, it might look different. You may be using a different metric like pixels or anything else. On mine, it looks pretty good at 0.22 inches. You can always click on preview to see what the artwork might look like. Just keep this value here at meter and limit it to four. It's pretty consistent. But in some cases, you may need to adjust it. It really depends on your logo or artwork. It's a case by case basis. For me, this works fine. Let's press OK. Now the artwork looks weird. Let's add a color to what we added. Let's turn it black, something like this. Now it looks better than the first one, mainly because of the added stroke. Let's take it a step further and add some shadows to enhance it. I'm pressing Alt and dragging the artwork to create a layer while I'm dragging, and this will create a shadow of it. The base of the shadow will be the top layer. Let's say I want it like this, maybe something similar. So this top layer will be what's in the front, and the bottom layer will be where the shadow ends. Of course, it's a 3D shadow, not a drop shadow. So what we're going to have to do is go to Object, then Path, and select Offset Path. In Blend Options, specify the steps. The more steps you choose, the thicker the shadow will be. Let me actually show you what it would look like if you use a lower value. Then go back and blend. It doesn't really look that good. So what we need is to use a higher value, like 120. Now, you see, it looks a lot better. There are almost no square edges, as you've seen on the first one. It actually looks pretty decent now in 3D. Of course, let's just use this copy that we have here and bring it to the front. I can actually click on the text and make a copy by pressing Control C and Control F, but as you can see, there are some issues that pop up because of that. So it's best to avoid that. I'll just use the original copy that I made earlier. Let's turn it into this color right here that I have. So let's just match it out here. Yeah, that looks pretty in place. Now that we have this, press Control C and then Control F. That will create a layer on top of it. It's a duplicate layer, so if I drag it out, as you can see, it now made a layer directly on top of it. In this layer, let's try adding some gradients. You can do it here by pressing on G. Here you can control which way the gradient goes. I want it to look something like this. Now let's add some halftone effect. Color halftone. You can also experiment with the values to see which ones you prefer. There's no preview for this, but you can always press Control Z to undo if you don't like the outcome. For me, let's try 40 on everything. 40 actually looks pretty decent. To change it, let's go to Window. If you have Image Trace right here, you can just click on it. I have it right here, but for those who don't, you can go to Window and then Image Trace, and it should show something like this. Now it's grayed out, so we can't really trace it, but what we can do is expand the appearance of this artwork. Expand and choose Mode Black and White. The tracing result looks pretty good. Let's click on Trace. Now it traced the entire effect and made it into an object. So if you click here and expand, now it's really an object, not just the effect. Let's press A for direct selection and delete this one. As you can see, it blended almost immediately, but there's still some white areas right here. Just click on this one. Go to Select, then Same, and choose Fill Color. Just press Delete, and now everything's been blended in and just move it a little, something like that. 
And now that the effect is here, we can actually change the color of the halftone to something. You can choose something lighter, but for me, I want to do something darker. Yeah, maybe something like this. That looks pretty good. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good from this one to this one. It's all coming together nicely, but I want to go one step further and add some flair to it. Here, I have some claw vector artworks. So let's drag both of them here and just place them here. Something like it's holding the artwork. Yeah, something like this. Select one of these, make sure they're aligned, just move this. It kind of looks pretty awkward right now. Let me put it in closer. And since it looks pretty awkward that it's not really holding it securely, let's add some shadow behind here. Use the pen tool to trace the inside. You don't need to be too precise here. Right click, arrange, and set it to the back. And just like that, it actually looks better. Let's do the same for the other side and set it to the back. I wanna see if it would also look better for the text here. I actually like it. Maybe I'll do it here. Yeah, now that it's looking good, let's add a bit of shadow here. But yeah, it looks pretty decent already. I just wanna add something to make it pop. Let's just remove this one, make a copy of it by pressing Control C, then Control F again. Now it made a copy on top of it, but I wanna move it lower. Then change the entire color of this one to this one, maybe a bit lighter. Yeah, let's press Control and the open bracket to move it one layer back. Let's try to move it somewhere where it looks like a shadow. And I wanna try a different color. Something like this. And let's just delete this one, then select this, make a copy by clicking on Transform, Reflect, Copy. Now we've made an exact copy of that one and it actually looks pretty good. Looking from where we started, it really looks different. I really like this effect. It looks pretty modern and solid. And it adds a lot of flair. Now let's save this artwork and see the final result. And voila, check out our Transform logo. From flat to fab in no time, but we're not done yet. Now it's time to bring our design to life. But first, let's measure this. 5, 11. For the fabric, we're going to be using this DCJ001 SKU. It's a BTSA shirt apparel. It's a heavyweight jersey tee. It's a 6.0 ounce. 28 and a half. Around 21 and a half. It is just a standard fit. It does come up through an extra small all the way to a 4XL. All right, let's get to pressing. For heat presses, we got our Heatmaster Prisma with its 16 by 20 layout and its 10 inch pullout. It was a no brainer, as well as also threading the shirt makes it a lot easier for the video's sake, as well as also production. Also understanding when you're threading the shirt, you have to also make sure everything is properly aligned. Again, it's a seven second press for 300 degrees. We recommend you wait 15 seconds on here and then press it one more time. All right, let's take a look. All right, looks great. We turned this doll logo to a stunning 3D design using Adobe Illustrator. And to top it all off, we brought it to life on a shirt. We hope you guys enjoyed everything. If you guys found value in this video, please like and subscribe. And as always, you guys have a great one.